Today I'm going to be talking about some of the most common fragrance mistakes that people tend to make. And there are quite a lot of them. I'm only going to discuss around five. But there are more than you would expect. The first one of which is probably the most significant is people don't know how to properly apply perfume. Uh, the biggest kind of no-no, I suppose, is uh, sometimes people will spray some perfume up into the air and then walk through the cloud, uh, but that's not really a great way to put on your perfume. It's actually one of the worst ways to put it on, especially if you're dealing with uh, expensive, very expensive perfume, because if you do that, you're pretty much wasting it. The better way is to apply it on specific areas of your body. Uh, the best places to make sure that the perfume lasts longer are both sides of your neck, um, your wrists, your elbows, sometimes the backs of your knees, uh, and you could also put a little bit in your hair uh, or on your clothes. But walking through a cloud really will only create a very superficial smell. It, it, it won't, the perfume won't stick to, to your person very well, so there's not much of a point in doing that. Plus, a lot of it will also end up on the floor, uh, on the walls, on the countertops, so a waste of good perfume, pretty much. Uh, another, another kind of th mistake that people make with perfumes is uh, buying a perfume based off of what's popular, a yeah, current trend, uh, that sort of thing. Trends are tricky because something could be popular, really, really popular for a few weeks, a few months, and everyone wants this style of, of fragrance. For example, currently in the perfume industry, uh, for women, uh, very kind of sweet, sugary, fruity perfumes uh, are very, very popular at the moment. And you could pretty much see that with any perfume that has been created in the past year or two, most of them follow that kind of category the uh, sweet and fruity, and you shouldn't buy a perfume based off of what's currently popular because trends don't last very long. Uh, something might be super, pop super popular at the moment, and then it would be dead, you know, within the week, and buying a perfume based off of a trend would really kind of just be a waste of money because once it goes out of fashion, you might find that you don't really care about it that much, you don't like it that much. Uh, or you just don't like wearing something that's outdated. So really, it's best to avoid, you know, trends like that. It's better to opt for something that you enjoy uh, just on your own terms rather than what's popular. And another kind of mistake, I suppose, that people make is uh, not paying close attention to the concentration that a fragrance has. A lot of people think, well, it's perfume. It's They're all the same. You, you put it on, it'll last a while, that's it. But the concentrations really do make a difference. There's uh, there's quite a few, but the, the main three are clone, or eau de clone, uh, eau de toilette, and eau de parfum. And there's sometimes an extract, but the main three. So clone is the weakest. Clone has two to five percent perfume oil. The rest is alcohol and other fillers. And clone is all right. Uh, it's very light. It won't last very long. And you need to put on a lot for it to be noticeable. Uh, clones often come in splash bottles, meaning you could, you know, put it on your wrist and splash it on your neck and everything, because you do need to put a lot on. A couple sprays won't really do too much. And, uh, you know, not everyone wants a super light fragrance like that. Eau de Toilette is a step up. It has around 8-10% to 10 perfume oil. It'll last longer than Clone. And it still isn't too intrusive. It's light, but it will last longer. And a lot of- there are a lot of perfumes that are Eau de Toilette. Um, then there's Eau de Parfum, which is much stronger. Uh, it has around 15 to 18 percent perfume oil, and I personally prefer that concentration because it's way more noticeable. 
uh, it has more, you know, permeates the air better, and it lasts longer because it's more concentrated. And there's also extrait, which is an extract, and that usually has 20 or more percent perfume oil. Those are usually pretty expensive, but those last the longest because they're the most intense and concentrated. So it's it's important to understand those different concentrations so, you know, you don't spend a bunch of money on, on a perfume that turns out to be a clone and it doesn't last that long and you're disappointed with it. So, you know, it, it helps you manage your expectations. And another thing to figure out or to avoid, a mistake to avoid, is getting a perfume based on what you smelled this perfume on someone else. So you, you say a stranger or your friend walks past you and they're wearing this perfume and you think it smells great. So you go out and buy it, uh, you put it on and then you realize it doesn't smell the same. So why doesn't it smell the same? It is because perfume, uh, unfortunately, is not doesn't create uh, precise static results. Uh, instead, the perfume oil uh, in the product reacts with your body's own oils and your skin and it will create a, a kind of a mix, a hybrid scent off of that. So what smells good on one person may not smell good on you or if something smells horrible on one person it might smell good on you. So it really depends on your body chemistry uh, and kind of what perfume you use. You can always save yourself the trouble and some money by maybe getting a sample first, you know, going to the mall or something, trying a sample. Then you could see how, it, how a fragrance reacts to your skin. So, uh, otherwise you might end up with a perfume uh, that's a big disappointment because it doesn't smell as good on you as another person, so. And then one other mistake that uh, a lot of people make, it has to do with how much perfume you put on at once, so. Uh, some people put on way too much and some people don't put on enough and it's hardly noticeable. Uh, I am guilty of usually not putting on enough perfume. I kind of want to save it so I, I don't put on as much as I should. Um, but there is a certain balance of how many sprays you should use uh, because if you overdo it then you know you might uh, fumigate some people in in your vicinity especially with, you know, very strong perfumes. So it's really best to sparingly use your preferred perfume. Maybe I did a video about how many sprays that, you know, would be ideal depending on what kind of perfume you're using. In most cases, two to three sprays in one area should be enough. So say two to three sprays on each wrist, your neck, you know, elbows maybe. So. Lim having a, a certain limited number like that will help you make sure that you're wearing enough so people can smell what you're wearing and you could also enjoy what you're wearing uh, versus not going overboard and you're just dripping in perfume basically. So uh, having that nice balance is, is really good uh, just to make sure that you're wearing an adequate amount of perfume. But those are pretty much the the major mistakes that people make, there are more, but there's definitely a lot more um, choosing the wrong perfume in the first place, for instance, but um, these ones are pretty much the main ones, and it is it is pretty important to avoid them because otherwise you, you could be wasting perfectly good perfume, and that's not something most people want to deal with, especially, you know, you get an expensive perfume, like uh, Chanel number no. five or or Shalimar or something. Yeah, those bottles can be ninety dollars, hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars, or more, depending on what kind of concentration or what type you're buying. And no one wants to waste all that money. So keeping the keeping these uh, kind of mistakes in mind, you can avoid them. They're pretty easy to avoid, to be honest. Uh, so and it, avoiding them will really just make you more efficient at wearing perfumes. And that's pretty much it. So if you enjoy the video, you can leave a like, maybe subscribe. Uh, if, you, if you have any kind of ideas about this topic, you can leave those down in the comments below. And I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.